What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we are going to talk about the Columbia River Knife and Tool Provoke First Responder. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're gonna talk about the CRKT Provoke First Responder. This is one of my new everyday carry knives. I did a video about it. Well, all of my everyday carry knives, I did a video a while back posting it just to kind of update on all of my new um, everyday carry knives. And I wanted to kind of break everything down individually and kind of let everybody see each one individually. I absolutely uh, love this thing. You can see it is a uh, Karambit style knife. I've always been a huge fan of this knife. Uh, Joe Caswell is the gentleman that originally designed the knife and I'm assuming he worked out a thing with Columbia River Knife and Tool. But this is just, it feels so good in the hands. I'm not gonna sit here and spend a lot of time on this. Uh, just kind of talk about some features of the knife and then also um, what you get with the Provoke first responder, uh, the different versions of the Provoke, and then I'll have a link in the description so you can go in and look in about more of the details. But this, I just love this knife. It just feels so good in my hands. I mean, it just... You, it's I don't know it's just it's hard to explain when you put it in your hands you see you've got your some finger grooves here uh, for your fingers and of course you've got your hole for your main finger there I mean this thing just feels great I mean it deploys just so so quickly and the reason I went with the first responder is it does come with a ceramic uh, window breaker I know it's kind of hard to see right here on the tip there is a uh, ceramic window breaker and also it comes with a nice little sheath, nice little Kydex sheath that you see here. It will come, the first responder comes with this sheath. The other Provoke knives, you would have to buy it separately, um, but the Sorry, got some fans going. It's a little warm out here today. Fits right down in there just like that. So, and you've got some different attachments. You've got your Molly attachment and then your belt attachment, depending on how you're going to be attaching things. If you're going to be attaching them at all to a vest or to a belt. Again, this is for really was designed for first responders. Uh, I just liked it because one, it came with the Kydex sheet, and then two, it also came with the uh, ceramic window breaker. So you see you've got your, your belt attachment here, you've got your links inside so you can adjust the width that you want for your belt. If you're gonna be running it on a belt or if your belt has Molly attachments, it also comes with some a thing for the Molly attachments. Look, I can't even get the bag open. So there you see you've got your Molly attachment if you want to use it on a vest or if again if your belt has the Molly attachment. So a couple of different options there for you. So there you see your sheath out of the sheath. Open it up, God, I just, I love that. I absolutely love that. This has been, I've been wanting this knife for a really, really long time. Then while I was at SHOT Show, 
Uh, Joe Caswell happened to be out of their booth. I was over there. I got a chance to uh, ask him a couple of questions about it. And then the locking mechanism is right here. Uh, what you do is you just pull it down. So almost like a um, slide release on a gun. How you take and just push it straight down to release the slide. Kind of the same concept here. Push it straight down and then folds right up. You've got a belt clip here. So if you don't want to use the sheath, you want to do it as a uh, pocket knife, kind of like what I've done. Uh, you just push. So you've got your little ring here. This is your belt clip right here. You push and if you can see it opens up and then you can slide it right down onto your pocket and then to deploy it right here on this little elbow you just give it a little push and i just i can't say enough great things about this i really haven't found anything that i don't like about it um it's just been a really really awesome knife um so just to give you an idea, let's see, the D2 blade steel is what it is made out of. Again, you've got the ceramic uh, window breaker and then a black titanium nitride coating on it. Blade length is 2.41 inches. And then you have a weight of 6.10 ounces. And then the handle is uh, 6160 T6 aluminum. So there's a little bit of information on the price point for this with the sheet is 225. And some of y'all are probably like, ain't no way in hell I'd pay 225 bucks for a knife. But I, I gotta admit this is well worth $225. I, I will say it is well, well worth $225. Some of the others that are available is the uh, Provoke Imperial White. So it's pretty much everything but the mechanisms here that actually, so if let me show your actual mechanical mechanism here, this is black, the rest of it is uh, white, uh, like your kind of Stormtrooper white. If you want to say it, hence the Imperial White. Uh, the other is the Provoke uh, with uh, VEF serrations. So along, instead of having a straight blade right here, you're going to have serrations going up the knife if that's something that you're interested in. Then you have just the Provoke and just a Provoke Earth, which is instead of being black, everything is in the Earth. And then your sheet, depending on which one you go with, the sheet uh, is also available for at $34.99. Uh, the other knives are ranged between uh, $199 up to $225. So I think it's a very good price point for what you're getting. I mean, this is just a well-built knife. It feels good. You know, you can even take it out. You've got your window breaker there, or if you just want to give somebody a good little hammer fist, You've got that option and then right out and ready to go. So this is the Provoke First Responder. Absolutely love this knife. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll have the link below with where you can go in and check out all the details. But just wanted to do a quick video to single it out and really talk about uh, this knife here. It's just an absolutely great, great knife. It's not heavy, nothing crazy, very easy to deploy. You know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it maybe come out with um, kind of the straight blade. So instead of having the Karamba style, have it in more of a straight blade, but I really don't know with how everything's designed, how that would work. So, but that's just my guess. If you wanted to say a, a bad, you know, maybe something where you've got a straight blade instead of the Karamba style, but still, I will be glad to take this any day. Highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for a good everyday carry knife. So I hope everybody has enjoyed the video. I want to take a minute and thank our sponsors with Lau Welding and Grading, uh, Get Right Personal Training, uh, UAG Custom Shop, and one of our new sponsors, Sutter Law Farm. Uh, very, very much appreciative for everything that you guys have all helped me do. Um, if you're local, check them out. If you're not local, they've still got great options for 
uh, you can be able to get in touch with them and get some of their services uh, out to you. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live.